it's looking really good so far. Check it out. Yay! This wasn't easy. This one, it was easy. This one was not easy. These two tanks right here and right here, they are identical. But tell me why this one is bigger than this one. I have no idea. The trim that's around it is much bigger than the trim that's around this one. I don't get it, Zoomed. Why would you do that? This one right here, we had to take one of the corner pieces. Let me turn the camera around and I'll show you. Okay. So you see this piece right here? How it goes all the way around? And over here on the front, on the other side, it does too. But let me show you back here. We had to take a hacksaw. See how much further? I mean, we even tried to cut a little bit of the brace off. But we had to take a hacksaw to get it to fit. But look down here. This one fit like a glove. It was perfect. But this one, not so much. And you want to know what else I did? Oh man, I messed up big time with this one right here, this bottom one. I messed up big time. Let me show you. As you can see, it ain't quite ready yet, but look. Anybody notice anything? I'll give you a few seconds. Take a look. Look at this. I can't believe I did that. And you know what else? The other aquarium was about $50 cheaper and the lid lifted up. Now, I got there, I saw the aquarium was cheaper, and automatically, boom, I'm gonna get that one. And then I noticed the lid lifted all the way up. So you had to remove the light off of the top to lift the lid up. And I was like, no, 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 stick with the plan. You had a plan, stick with it, right? It ain't about the money, even though, you know, we can all... There's a lot of things I could have bought with that $50, right? I stuck to the plan. Oh, yeah. And I got all this stuff done in that aquarium, right? And I went all out with it, too, guys. I siliconed it to the aquarium, okay? The only piece that's not siliconed to the aquarium is this right here. Cause take a look at this. I actually broke the rim around the top of the aquarium while I was putting it into the stand. Oh, I was livid, okay? I could not believe I broke it. And then I got it in there and then realized that had I not broke it, I would have never got the lid off. So let me show you how I have to remove the lid. Okay, so I'm going to take the locks out, all right, right? I'm going to set them up there. Look, kind of stupid, right? But since I broke this part, when I was sliding it down into here, it hung on this, and it broke this part. So, I lift it up. And slide it out that way. And then to put it back in, I put it in that side. And it just pops back down in place. 
I don't know. Everything happens for a reason, y'all. You know how mad I would have been. <laughs> because it took a lot to get that aquarium to sit down in the bottom of that. But you know how mad I would have been had I not broke the trim on the top. Putting the aquarium in there, not only would I have not have ever got the aquarium back out, one, two, it would have been useless because I couldn't take the lid off, and three, had I got the aquarium back out, I couldn't have returned it for the other one because I siliconed every damn thing in place. So... <laughs> I'm fixing to finish this aquarium. I'm going to put the rocks in it. I'm going to add the filter. And then I'm going to turn it on. Add some fish. And then I'll put popcorn in it. So let's do that. And also, y'all see that ugly crack down in the bottom? Yeah. I stepped on the particle board while I was putting the tank in. And it was already far enough down that when I moved my foot, the aquarium slid into place. And that was it. <laughs>